Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope you'll subscribe and click that bell to get notified every time I post a new video. So today I want to talk about something that I came across and I'm kind of intrigued by it. Now we live in a house that is actually, it's a hundred years old this year. I don't know exactly what month this year, but our house was built in 1921. How exciting is that? Now, obviously it's been, you know, renovated slightly. It's had some cosmetic upgrades to make it a little more modern looking, you know, uh, you can kind of see right there, we've got the original brick, um, from a hundred years ago <laughs> that used to have a pot bellied stove in front of it. Uh, really cool. Um, that was one of the selling features when we bought it. We actually really loved that it had some of the original um, things still in the house. We have a closet uh, tub upstairs in our uh, one bathroom house, which again was really cool. Um, but anyway, I'm not talking about renovations today, although that will be a future video. So look for that. Um, but what I want to talk about is rugs, floor coverings. You know, um, our house has very little carpet in it. Um, when they renovated it before we bought it, they basically, it's all hardwood and linoleum flooring. Um, the only place we have carpet is on the stairs, uh, going up to the second floor and the hallway upstairs, which is a very small hallway. I mean, this is this hundred year old house. So we're in a pretty small house. I mean, our house is like, I think nine, just over 900 square feet. So it's a small, tiny house, two bedroom, one bath. So there's not a lot of carpet, um, which I'm okay with. I love hardwood floors and we have the real hardwood floors. It's not like the laminate that looks like hardwood or the plank, you know, it, it, this is real hardwood. Um, so I'm excited about that, but right. You have hardwood or linoleum floors and this house is a hundred years old. So the floors get a little cold, <laughs> right? Um, and I'm one of those people that like to go around barefoot no matter what season it is. Uh, so, you know, we had to get some rugs and we've lived in this house for 11 years and you know, you do just like you do, you go and buy rugs. Now rugs are not cheap, right? Am I right on this? Like, they're really expensive depending on the size. So we're cheap people. We try to, you know, we don't like paying full price for things. We always like to get a deal. We always like to make sure that we're spending our money smart and responsibly, right? Um, so I typically just head over to, you know, Walmart over there and pick up a rug. Now we have, um, a five by seven rug in our living room. And to be honest, oh, here's Susie. Hi, Susie, you coming to say hi? Yes, you look, say hi, hi to our friends. They're little Susies. Um, to be honest, it's too small for the space. It needs to be bigger, but it was $35. <laughs> so I was like, yep, yeah, that's the right price for us. Now we've been here 11 years. We, this is actually the second rug we've had in our living room. Again, both from Walmart, both $35. Um, and rugs are fine, right? But what I hate about rugs is, well, now I have a five-year-old. So anytime you have kids, right, that like to play with Play-Doh, slime, clay, you know, your rugs just start looking kind of nasty. <laughs> And we have this beautiful little girl here and, um, you know, she's getting older. Um, she doesn't really have, uh, that many accidents in the house, but she does occasionally get sick. And she, for whatever reason, even though our house is 90% hardwood and linoleum, she always seems to do it on a rug. So, uh, we actually invested in a, uh, little rug spot cleaner, if you will. Um, which I should probably do a video on that too. Um, so we invested in that and it's, it definitely does its job way better than just, you know, like a rag and some cleaning stuff, right? Cause once you get something on a rug, it goes all the way through any of you that have rugs, you know what I'm talking about. It's a mess. 
So, you know, the rugs, you can vacuum them as much as you want, but they never really get clean, you know? And it's like, you know, years ago, you know, they used to take rugs outside and hang them on the line when people had laundry lines outside and they'd beat them right, with those rug beaters to try to get all the dust and debris and everything out of it. That's how they used to clean it. That's what I feel like doing because they may look clean, but you know deep down those rugs aren't clean. You know it. So it was. it's time to get a new rug. Our rug, again, it's getting frayed on the edges. It's got Play-Doh stuck in it. I can't get out. It's just, it's a mess. And I'm like, I'm getting, like, even though we're cheap and it's only $35 for a rug, I'm like, I feel like we're replacing it quite a bit. Well, I mean, we aren't because we're cheap, but we should be replacing it more than we are. And it's like, it's just, it's a pain in the butt to clean it. So I kind of was looking around at different rugs and I definitely wanted to get a bigger one to fit the space better. And one of my friends actually on Facebook, um, she had mentioned that she got a new rug. I think her husband surprised it with her, um, as a gift, I think is what happened. And it was a ruggable. Have you heard of this? Cause I hadn't. And I'm like, what is a ruggable? So I went on Google and I researched and guess what folks? It's a washable rug. Like washable where you put it in your washing machine, washable. And I'm like, yeah, okay, how is that even possible? Like, is this like just a little three by five that you throw in your washing machine? No, no. You can go all the way up to, what size is it? Uh, nine by 12 feet? Washable rug. And I'm like, tell me more. What is this witchcraft? So basically the ruggable comes with a, um, like a, a pad, if you will, that goes on the floor. And then it has the rug part is, I believe it's like a foldable cloth kind of thing that attaches to the pad. So you never wash the pad. The pad is always the pad, but it, I don't know if it's Velcro or what it is, but the top piece just sticks to the pad. So when you need to or want to wash it, you just take the top piece off, wad it up, throw it in your washing machine, and wash it. And I'm like, that is brilliant. Who, like, why did it take so long for us to come up with this idea? So Ruggable, they have all sizes. You can get doormats, you can get round rugs, you can get runners, you can get anything from like a, a what was it, three by five feet up to a nine by 12. And they have hundreds of patterns, colors. They even now have a plush rug, which reminds me kind of of like that shag carpet, you know, where it's like much higher and thicker. They even have that now and it's all washable. It's washable. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. And this ruggables apparently have been around for a long time because I actually started looking at ruggables, I think two or three years ago. And I'm like, I want ruggables. I want ruggables. Like I said, we don't have, um, we have some rugs in our house. So we have a rug in our living room. I have a very small rug in the master bedroom, kind of at the foot of the bed. Again, wrong size, right? All of my rugs are the wrong size. I know that. I took interior design. I know they're the wrong size. But again, working with budget and also color scheme, that's what I found, right? So we have one in our living room. We have one in our master bedroom. I have one in our daughter's room. I have a couple in our laundry slash mud room back door area like a runner and then one in front of the washing machine and the dryer. And we have a rug at the front door. And I'm like, I want ruggables everywhere, everywhere. I want ruggables, but I was about to say they're expensive, but they're not. They are and they aren't. 
depends how you look at it, right? When you invest in a good rug and you go to like a furniture store or someplace that isn't Walmart, like an actual rug store, and you get an actual good rug, good quality, well-made, gonna last you a lot longer than Walmart rugs, depending on the size, rugs are expensive. I've seen rugs over a thousand dollars, right? I think the average price I was looking at for the sizes I was looking at was between three and five hundred dollars. And that's a rug you can't wash. That's a rug you have to vacuum or beat with a broom handle to try to get a clean rug, right? Ruggables, for the size I wanted, we were looking around $300. So when you think about it, $300 for a rug sounds like a lot, but it's a washable rug. It's washable. I'm just envisioning how much longer it's going to last us. And not only that, but how much cleaner it's going to be. I have a bit of OCD. I'm a bit of a clean freak. I just, I like things clean. And when I know that rug has got dirt and stuff in it, it drives me nuts because my daughter plays on it all the time. And I'm like, I don't want you on the rug because I know there's dirt in there. I can't get it out. So I'm just like, okay, it's time. I told my husband, I said, it's time. We need a new rug. I'm not buying another one, a cheap one that we're going to have to replace in a couple years. I want to invest in a ruggable. Now, I know I can't get a ruggable to replace all the rugs in my house, but let's get one. Let's try it. Let's see what it's like, right? Why not? So he agreed. He agreed, guys. He agreed. We did it. We ordered a ruggable. So excited. We ordered a ruggable. We decided we are in the living room 90% of the time. That's where we are. We're always in the living room. That's the rug we need to replace. That's the one that's right at the front door. People see that space. My daughter plays there. Our dog lies there. We're always in the living room watching TV or whatever. That's it. And I was like, we need the right size rug in here. I have a five by seven. It's too small. I know it's too small, guys. It's too small. So I went bigger. I ordered a six by nine. I'm hoping it's the right size. I probably could have even went a bit bigger because I probably could have put it like under the couch, you know, but I'm like, that's fine. So I ordered a six by nine. I also wanted something that was kind of a neutral because I tend to redecorate quite a bit. Not necessarily as far as renovating or painting, but just changing out, you know, throw pillows, throw blankets, new furniture. I don't know what color I'm going to go with. Right now, our living room is like blacks, grays, uh, white. Our couch is white. Red is the accent color. That's kind of what our living room looks like. But I might take that red and change it to a blue or a yellow or a green. Who knows, right? So I wanted something neutral but still had a really cool pattern to it. I didn't want something too plain. I didn't want just like a one plain color rug. So I ended up picking up one. It's called the Meridian Smoke Rug. I'm probably gonna ask my husband to insert a picture here. Boop. <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. I ordered a six by nine rug, Meridian Smoke. It was our first ruggable purchase, so we ended up getting a 20% off coupon. So with tax shipping, blah, 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 everything, it cost us $254.15. I'm hoping it was worth it. I'm excited. I can't wait for it to get here. It's going to be awesome. So have you heard of ruggables before? Tell me, do you have a ruggable? Do you have more than one ruggable because they were just so awesome you had to get more? I want to know. Comment, let me know. Tell me your thoughts. Do you think this is a good idea, a washable rug? Do you see any negatives about it? Let's talk about it. Tell me what you think. And be on the lookout for an upcoming video because you better believe when my ruggable gets here, we're doing an unboxing video. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works, what it looks like, and tell you what I think about it. So I'm so excited. Please subscribe if you haven't already because you do not want to miss that ruggable unboxing.
I know I don't. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.